In this video, we will see a question which is simple yet tricky. So this was asked in Boss and Deloitte written exam on 2nd February 2022. So the question says, find the maximum even sum. So this word even is the key. So they have given us input like this. This five will be the size of array. And then you will be provided with five values in that array. So output would be like, 14. So this for how we are getting this 14, 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. Okay. This is the maximum even sum of this array. So when we see such kind of question, what we will do, it looks like very easy. So what we will, we will be tempted to just start creating a program. So therefore I'm also just creating a program. even some okay and in this video to save time we are not taking array as input we will simply create this if you want to know how to take array as input i will post the link in the comment box or description box so and we will create x even sum and pass this array max even sum a. so create this now here we will declare int sum equal to zero or int I equal to zero, I less than a dot length, I plus plus, and we will do sum equal to plus equal to I. Yeah. And from here, we will just return the sum. And we will print this. Okay, now let's run. So, see our <coughs> answer is coming as 15. While they wanted us to print 14. So, they have omitted this one. Okay, here, this is the tricky part. So, now what we will have to do, we will have to find out the... Uh, we will have to find out the minimum odd. <clears throat> we will have to find out minimum odd element. Okay. If this array was like this, say seven, and we run this. See, this is coming as even sum, and this is the maximum even sum. So we don't need to do anything. So how will you identify which number we should have to? this uh, omit from our calculation therefore what we will do first we will check whether our sum is coming as even so to check that we will do a modulus operator use this and should be zero if this is zero we don't have to do anything and return the sum if not then we will have to again iterate this array. We will declare a variable as max odd element. We'll assign a value integer dot. This this is the minimum value which can be assigned to an integer. Now what we will do here you will have to check if AI is odd how we will check it if it's odd will be percentage not equal to zero this is odd and and this max odd element is lesser than ai 
so we will change our max odd element max odd element to ai and once this loop ends i'll for understanding i will print this max odd element oh actually i had to find out min odd element and here we will have to change this max value this is the max value that can be assigned to this and we will have to change this to this now we will print min odd element and we will subtract this from now let's see we remove this okay, this is this is being printed from here this is just for understanding so when you are solving this kind of question remove all the extra print statements now let's add 7 here so we are expecting answer should be 22 let's see whether our code is able to find out or not it is printing 22 because sum was 22 and it was even so our code did not go to this now let me add one more element which is odd here now our sum should come as 24 not 25 we will have to subtract this one from here we will run this and see this is coming 24 let's remove one from here and add nine here now our answer should be 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 4 9 plus 5 14 21 24 34 and 33 in this case we will have to subtract 3 from the total so our answer should come as 30 let's run it see our code is perfectly finding out the minimum odd element and we are subtracting it from the total so our answer is coming correct all the time so <clears throat> every time you should read question very carefully there will be a catch if a question looks simpler that actually it's not the simple question